Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of UFC 4 Career Mode. So check it out. First thing I need you to do, hit that like button. Um, I just found out from YouTube. Um, yeah, I'll put the tweet up on screen that my notifications just don't go out to subscribers. So if you're watching this video, nine times out of ten, you're not a subscriber. Thank you guys so much for coming through. Make sure that if you do subscribe, turn on the bell with the notification thing, the little little chime bell thing. Um, it kind of pisses me off because YouTube is supposed to be a platform where if somebody subscribes to you, they're supposed to get your content, especially if you're uploading content and YouTube is telling me, well, I mean, 97% of people that aren't subscribed to you watch. So we'll keep it that way. While the other 2% of people, the 600 plus thousand that subscribe won't see your content unless it's recommended to them. That sucks. <laughs> But hey, we'll roll with the punches, right? Literally. But let's get into this episode. I got a fight coming up. A few moments later. Oh man. They want me to fight Anthony Johnson? Nah, bro. You nah. This is six week camp. Oh, I'm a little scared. I, I I cannot lie. I am definitely scared. I'm gonna take all six weeks of this. Oh man! Wow, you retiring, coach? That's tough. What else they got on the watch list? Oh man, it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. Hey, Junior Dos Santos tweeting me. Okay, hey, listen, I'm feeling I'm feeling right right now. Hold on, let me see, bro. Um, you know what I'm saying? Let's get that 4th of July started. Oh, that's crazy. 4th of July? That's how you gonna respond to that? I'ma I'ma leave it alone, bruh. Anyone notice how quiet iPod King Carter's timeline got? I don't know what's going on. Let me go ahead and promote this fight though. Leave flying knee. I might I might want to learn both of those actually. Um I like his his uh style actually. So I'm gonna show you the snap jab, it's gonna be fire. I want to see your skills right now. Let's get in there and push. Beautiful combination. Keep it up. Put pressure on it. All right. Man, the snap ball. jab is not as fast as the regular jab. But the combination looks much better when you're uh, using it with the um, with his actual uh, cross. So that's why I'm gonna do it. But it moves. All right. So my jab was a uh, three star. Mm, so let's go ahead and um, throw that snap jab up in there. Lee hook. Hook. Uppercut. All right, so now I got a snapping jab and a looping uh straight, so that's cool with me. I I I'll see how I like it. You know what I mean? If it's not as good as the traditional, because the traditional is very fast. You go pop pop pop. You know what I'm saying? With this one, it's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's gonna be mad weird. So you know what? Spinning back, spinning back fist costs ninety. All right, spinning back fist. Let's do it. Why not learn it? Why not learn to spin a back fist? I might need it. Today, let's go in there and get after it. All right. Sheesh! Don't get injured. Oh my God. Sheesh. Your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. All right, cool. That was a good move to learn. Um, it took up all of my week, so that's pretty good. No injuries. Got more evolution points. I'm overtrained. It's cool, I guess. I'm just overtrained. It's all good. I ain't tripping. I'm not tripping at all. Darn. I hope I'll be all right leading up to the fight. 
All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the better boxers in this division. Certainly has a well-rounded MMA skill set, but it's hard to lead the walk with anything other than the hands, which might be the best in this division. Especially when you look at some of the highlights, right? You look at him landing that jab, and it's almost picture perfect. The jab lifts the head, the right hand follows, and guys are going to sleep. Yeah. I would love to be considered a boxer if I had the skills yeah. that this young man possesses. Be happy, because you spent a lifetime developing it, and now it puts you on the cusp of UFC superstar. He looks as comfortable throwing a jab as I do, like, folding a slice <laughs> of pizza in half, you know? <laughs> Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a boxer holding a professional record of eight wins, no losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Carter. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, six losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 235 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. So Dan Bergliata shares the cage. Ready? Fuck you. Oh, man. Oh, my God. A minute? Yes, sir. It goes into the books as a first round win by knockout. Near perfect execution. The technique was absolutely good. Did he even land a strike? I don't think he landed a strike. Coach, look at the look at the glass eyes. He ain't got no cuts. He not bleeding. No blood. Fifty seconds. I beat the goofy out of him, yo. Oh my gosh, bro. How did I lose any longevity there? What? This is crazy, yo. This is crazy. What? 
They don't got no. They don't got no after the fight menu. Oh, here we go. He didn't land no strikes. He didn't get to hit me one time. He ain't put a finger on me. What? And then Josh just got his ass knocked the fuck out. Oh my god. Everybody know I beat that boy. Everybody know I beat that boy, dog. That's crazy. Oh man, that's 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 insane, bro. All right, my goal progress, okay. I gotta have at least 35 UFC fights. Okay, what else I gotta have? I gotta do two promotion, what's that? Eight million followers, $15 million earnings. All right, cool. I ain't tripping on that. I make, I make that up for sure. Dang. Uh oh, post fight highlights. Post fight highlights. Ha <laughs> ha. Bing. Bing. Laid out. That's crazy. They ain't even give me the, the setup joint. They ain't even show the setup. Boom, right across. I, I, I had it right here. You know what I'm saying? Right in the corner. Bang. I might have broke that boy's jaw, man. You never know, man. But listen, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you guys click that like button. Make sure if you're not subscribed, subscribe now with the Noti Bell. If you are subscribing, you're not getting notifications for whatever reason, click the Noti Bell, turn it on, and see if you get the next uh, notification. But until next time, y'all, I'm going to see y'all later. Peace.